Hi there, I'm Zoot Java. Today I'd like to talk about Pete Buttigieg suspending his campaign for the Democratic presidential nomination. Three people knew about this decision, leaked it to the press, that the campaign staff were told about it, but weren't authorized to speak publicly and asked to remain anonymous. Mayor Pete, as he has been called, no doubt due to the trouble some have had pronouncing his last name, spoke at approximately 8 p.m. Sunday, March 1st, to a crowd in South Bend, Indiana, the city he is the mayor. The decision is believed to be as a result of Joe Biden getting a victory in South Carolina, causing moderates in the party to fall in behind Biden. Originally, Buttigieg was criticizing Biden, basically saying that at his age, Biden was not in touch with the present-day politics. He began his digs at Bernie Sanders more recently, as Sanders was the beneficiary of the moderate votes. With Buttigieg being a married, gay, war veteran, he seemed to think that this would be a strategy to embrace the younger voters. But it appeared Sanders picked up the younger voters, and Buttigieg began appealing to a more mature, older group. With Buttigieg only being 38 years old, it would appear as though he was simply using this run as a learning experience. A place where he could gauge every place he's been, every promise he's made, and every person he's come into contact with, a self-written textbook about himself and for himself, in another bid to become president in the coming years. At 38, he doesn't have to have a panic campaign like Sanders at 79 years old, especially with Sanders suffering a heart attack. He can safely and more intelligently put together a very good winning strategy in the years to come. Running for president, however, in my opinion, he should focus on actual promises to make and show how they will be provided and paid for. To stop making blanket promises that sound great on the surface but have absolutely no substance when you sit back and actually look at them. Basically, all you had to do is look at the debates for the Democrats and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Also, focus on the citizens of the country and them alone without bad-mouthing the present administration. Rising above this is something that people would notice, but Will he be able to do that? Even in his farewell speech, he couldn't stop making a few barbs at Donald Trump. Focus on yourself and your positives, booty gig. Don't sling mud, especially when you don't have to, as you're now out of the race. Now, for the part you've all been waiting for, my bad joke. A communist is somebody who has nothing and wants to share it with you. Anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more notifications of more of my words of wisdom. Don't forget to share my content on all your social media, because I tend to get suppressed by all the usual suspects. Until later, have a Java on Zoot.